You hear me giving kudos up there? The best co-angler ever. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, I checked the video out. Yeah, it's nice. Lewis is the greatest co-angler ever. Teamwork, blah, blah, blah. No way. Yeah, man. I hooked you up. Yeah, famous, famous in the video, yeah. Hey, I didn't... Man, I, they was over there telling me I was getting like... Uh, or because I got a two pound penalty, so I, he's like, oh, Yeah, you got six you fishing. All righty, guys, good morning. Here we go. Got my boater, Mr. Scott Carlisle, up there. Hey. Bring an awesome guy already, man. He told me, he said, Hi, hey, you're a co angler. I'm just going to run all your stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Whatever gets it done. Teamwork. We're just gonna have a good time, no matter what happens. Hard not to have a good time when you're just surrounded by a beautiful place like this. I mean, this these place this place is gorgeous. If you ever get a chance to come up here and fish, Thousand Islands, I highly recommend it. Well, let's get after it. Stop jibber jabbering. I gotta tell you, y'all, Mr. Scott here has a awesome brand new Z21. This thing rode well, handled the water well. Rough water boat. I liked it. It's a good ride. Yeah, fun. I've had rougher rides for show. Came down nice and soft. Power bait right there. Somebody might have known to throw one of these somewhere. It's not as cool as the, the idea that some guys at a local Chinese restaurant gave us. I mean, they were saying, yeah, if you go pick the MEP spinner up, it's got to be silver with four red dots. They were serious. They were they were absolute serious. Great guys that we met at a like I said local Chinese place and four red dots, huh? <laughs> and they were 100% serious about it too. They're like, you'll catch you a couple. <laughs> I don't need a couple. I need five. <laughs> oh, love it, love it. If you're not having a good time, you're listening. You're losing out, that's for sure. Look at that guy. Might use him later. But I sure couldn't find any of those MEP spinners at the time. Thousand Island Tax Shop didn't have them? Oh, no. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> those guys were like, yeah, you got to put a, a a little trailer worm on it, too. I was like, what? The? Oh, that's funny stuff. You're all right if I cast a little like this way just to yeah, drift back with the current? Thank you, sir. I found by pre-fishing all week, one of the best ways for me to present my my bait yeah. is if I cast a little forward like that oh, yeah. and catch perch. There you go. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> all right, guys, first cast. We got a winner. I'm dropping him in the box. I'm dropping him. I'll put a coal tag in this guy right here. <laughs> See, I'm gonna put that on YouTube, and some people are gonna be like, "You're being a a a, a butt to your boater already because you're like making fun." I'm like, no, I'm just having a good time. God, I'm fishing. I ain't working. I'm sitting in a boat. This is my happy spot. If nothing else, we're gonna have some great tacos. <laughs> Ooh, that's what happens when you set the hook on a rock. But last year when we came to this area, he was like, yeah, the green pumpkin's working all right in the morning. He's like, but once that sun gets up, it changes a little bit. It's all the little intricacies you learn every year doing it, fishing with different people. Actually, he was using a Carolina rig to start off here yet last year and fished it hadn't really fished anywhere I could use a Carolina rig yet. That and just the way that my buddy pre-fishes too, it's hard to catch fish behind him. Green pumpkin, green pumpkin nights. That might be one. <clears throat> that might be a, yeah, I think it is. He's in the current too. Oh, I broke him off. Oh. <laughs> First one I broke off all all week. I'm just kind of working this little drift that's right there. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, I think he broke me off in them rocks or something. I was 
about to let him run with it guys and just wasn't real sure if I, I should do that or not especially in this current I kept my kept the rod tip down so he wouldn't jump because that's that's even worse I, I think I'd rather lose him on a break off yeah. and never see him yeah. <laughs> then see him come up and jump and be like oh no four pounder Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that was gorgeous. Yeah. Oh man, sure wish I. I got plenty of these uh, these worms too. I, like I said, I, I'll share. Tug is the drug. Been fishing around zebra mussels and all that all week long. I mean, if this were oh this oh that was six. But this is six pound test on this. No wonder. No wonder. Yeah. I'm about to put this up. About to go to eight. I just found this six pound is just really breaking off a lot more. I should just, I didn't retie this one because I wanted one with at least six pounds just in case I needed it. And big old perch, I was just slaying, cut, cut my line up. See, I actually have, I have the exact same thing rigged up just with eight pound test. Thousand Islands, only place I come up and I have three drop shots rigged up. <laughs> kind of been the, He jumped away from the net. Not even 12 inches. What's up with that? <laughs> what the? Sauger or walleye or whatever this thing is. Oh, suckerfish. First one of these I caught. New species. That is. You ain't got teeth on you, dude, buddy. Oh, it's like a smell. What the heck is that? Can I make a taco out of you? That's what I, I want to know. <laughs> Do you have, ow, ow, don't mess up my drop shot. That's the worst thing you could do. Oh, got one. Oh, that's smallmouth. Yeah, I wasn't, si I wasn't sure what size he was there for a second. <laughs> I mean, if it's a little one, I'm like, ah, I don't really care too much. I'm going to fight him up. Should be able to fight him up pretty good even. Whoa. All right, man. They... See that? Keeping that rod tip down. Boy, did I learn that. <laughs> I have learned that. Oh, my heart's pounding right now. Let him surge on that one. Hey, brother, give up. <laughs> No, no. Here he comes. Here. Oh, shoot. Sideways, he's <laughs> gazoo. Switching sides. Okay, I think he's done. Ready? Coming to you. Woo! Yes. Your line's stuck in there, too. Thanks, sir. Get your line out here. We'll be able to, actually we'll be able to get it from there. <clears throat> Doing a little pumping on that one. That was fun. That's actually been the funnest catch I've had all week. <laughs> See that little seam right there? That's where they would stack up on any other river. <laughs> I picked them I picked those things up maybe three, three, four months ago. Mm -hmm. I was like, I know if I wait. On tack, tack freaks or tackle warehouse, something like that, they're just going to be all sold out. And I've used them sparingly throughout my practice too. You know, it's just like, all right, I feel like this color has worked just a little bit better than the other one that I had. Just still a green pumpkin, but you know how those colors thing go. I have done that before. Dang near ripped my finger off too, because I was holding the line. Let me know if you want me to hop on the big motor or anything like that. Alright, keep Drift us over here into this thing and then we'll be able to hold on to this dock. This should be a good current break if I put us right over here. Turn this way, kick her in reverse. Gonna reposition the boat a little bit further this way. 
Not only that, I'm not splashing our spot that we're on either. Back in action. <clears throat> Reckon it's all right to have somebody who knows what they're doing with one of those things. Yeah, I did that last year with my four tracks. I was looking directly down and sure enough, whoop, oh, and of course I always hold my line too. Oh, I did go. You're gonna have to grow, buddy. You need to get it together. You got all of this hook though. That is the Gamakatsu split shot hook. Split shot and drop shot hook. Oh, you won't bite me. Turd. There he is. How's it going? Yep. All right. Take time. Here all day. That current making. Yes. <sighs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, we're on the board, bro. On the board. Good job, good job. We're stacking up right on that seam there. Get her done. Oh yeah, one with him. Oh yeah, the bigger oh, one with him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna roll mine. I don't wanna lose my rod. It's the first one I've seen get followed up like that. Yeah, me too. I see I've been waiting for that all week. Yes! There you go. Well done. Thank you, sir. Get that one. That, that one that followed it up was a three to four pounder. Very good job. Yeah. Might be a little bit better. Yeah, he's small. Don't worry about it. Thank you, though. Yeah, but he might keep, though. <laughs> he ain't as small as I thought. Yeah, there you go. See what I mean by boat flipping them? <laughs> These guys are so finicky, I'm just going to cut it. Okay. Versus, uh, thank you. All right, you can't tell nobody about my secret spot now. Nope. <laughs> Not until I put it all over YouTube. Nope. <laughs> Hilarious. We're having a great time out here, guys. It's two guys who enjoy fishing, getting to do some fishing, getting to do what we love to do, just having a good time. Get the prescription out, guys. And this is really practice for the uh, Costa. All right, guys, supposed to count back four door spin, two, four, straight off of there. Ah, doing a little fizzing, huh? Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, I'm gonna need that back, buddy. I tell you, so, I mean, we pulled one out of the deep yesterday, guys, and I did this right here, did the old, the old fizz. I mean, we put that fish back in the water. It had plum tuckered itself out, and so there's no way it was gonna swim away. So we went back to the boat, fizzed it, swam away perfectly fine. All right, Lewis, fire him up. No. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> I really am quiet on the back of the boat majority of the time. I just some people are like, I bet you annoy the heck out of your boater talking so much. And I'm like, you're only seeing, you know, the 10 minutes I clipped out of me not talking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm focused on what I'm doing. Oh. Yeah. 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 Good, Good stuff, Good man. Job. Good stuff. You're sitting right in that current break. See what happens when you listen to a co-angler every once in a while. Shake it. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that's a good one. I really had a tough practice, man. Yeah? I caught two little baby smallmouth. I was like, all three days. <laughs> I love this place. Huh? I got a... Uh, FX20. Oh, this is a good one. This is at least a little bit. This is a keeper. Yeah, they're right on this break right here. Shoot, he's fighting like a keeper. <laughs> wow. He fought a little bit harder than he looks. I think he'll, I think he'll make it. 
He might make it though. He made it. A boat flip one bigger than you all go. That's going to cold something here after a while. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, sir. You said that. I'll get it. All right. Thank you. Beyond the Bounds Guide Service. Whatever you drink is on me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of that. He's just going. I'll flip him. He's oh, fine. Yeah. I look back and I see your, your rod back. Your <laughs> rod's just been over. <laughs> <laughs> You're making this worse. This is all your fault. This is all your fault. Later, bro. Yes. Big red eyes. The demon fish. Thank you, sir. Yeah, buddy. Man. That's a donkey donk. Yeah. Yeah, that's. It's got some weight to it right there, man. Yeah, I just got got some hits right there. Right in this kind of, must be a larger rock there. That always helps. Yeah. When you get all those fish in there that yeah. builds up their ammonia and stuff. I had some, my fish died pretty quick on Champlain. Sipping that G juice, laid back. He's a small one, but he's probably gonna keep. Keeper, baby. Yeah, that's about it. Woo! Got that monkey off the back, hopefully. <laughs> Not even on the hook. You just in the net. That? Said last year I lost my fifth fish. It was just, it was heartbreaking. Oh, Sucked. Yeah. yeah, I gotta retie this. I think I heard we we're gonna get some wind today. <laughs> Actually, might be a good one. You spot lock real fast. Oh, you got yeah. Thanks. I'll take that. Bingo. Thanks, sir. He gets rid of the squeak, squeaky toy. No squeaky toy. No more squeaky toy. I'm just gonna throw you in there and throw the squeaky toy out. All right, where's squeaky toy? I think that's squeaky toy right there. Well, we'll do it, Squeaky. People are going to be like, ah, trust me, he felt heavier. Y'all so pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're good. <laughs> Fired them up. Just let you go. You look just like Squeaky Toy. My lord, it's windy. This might be one of the windiest days I've ever fished a tournament, I think, to be honest. Go so, right about there. So yeah, so see, here's your four right there. And then you draw an imaginary line down right off of that fin. Under the scale. And start to see bubbles. And we're seeing bubbles. And just let her kind of ride herself. Keep hold of that that little pin that you've yep, got, because that way, when she does ride herself, you'll. Is she starting to pull away a little? No. One, two, three, four. Straight down. Yeah, it's more oh. like a. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like a diagonal. Yeah, it's more than like this. And then right? a little bit, yeah, and then a little bit back, about three scales or so, and there's a there's a booty, and then coming yeah. up, yeah. So you're right in that right in that spot. You got to come in this way at a 45. To get under that scale, oh, oh. try to try to ply it up just a little bit, oh, cool. like this, like see, like that. Uh -huh. That way you get under the scale. Oh, like that. But here I'll let you. <laughs> <All right. coughs> That's your 45. I ply up the scale just a little bit more. Oh, there you go. There you there go. You go. Oh, straight, 90 degree, plunge in. Okay, and let you take it. Oh yeah, number two. I imagine that's like passing gas. Probably yeah, feels so good. Totally. It's like, oh, she finally left the room. I can let it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> Woo. What we need is some more wind to really turn this bite on. All right, fish are doing good. I had to stick one of them guys about three times to get him to act right, but he finally act right. He's swimming right now? Oh yeah, he's swimming. They're all doing fine. Nobody's floating weird or anything. Please, sir, no more. <laughs> Please, not the needle. Whoa. Woo! Got a bite when that happens. Oh, this might. He got a little bit of tug to him. We'll see. I think he got some weight to him. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna bring him up, ready? There he is. Oh, yeah. Mm. Big Good stuff. Big That's what we needed right there at the last part of the day. A little end of day heroics, getting a, yeah, a couple pounder, two pounder, three pounder, shoot. Look at that, guys. He's calling somebody or eating somebody. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna set you in there so you can eat somebody. Donkey, donkey. Now listen to this, Rick. Donkey. Oh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> Big water, baby, Big water. My God, that's why you got <laughs> This might be the worst I've ever boated in, personally. It's crazy, man. And see, we made the right decision, though. We plenty did. of time. Plenty. Hang on. Biggin. Oh, yeah. Woo! I just took that on the face. Woo. Well, guys, that was about the worst waves I've ever had to take. Some flat bottom aluminum boat people out here one with a 115 on and everything. I mean, that's, I get, you know, some people on my videos will often talk about, oh, you don't need a big old boat like that to, to fish. All you need is a, a log to float on and you float on that log out there and you'll be all right. And be like, well, you know what? I kind of do stuff like this. And when you're running big water and stuff. Right there, one of the first things you should get as a boater new boater boat owner get some bibs get some good bibs not cheap stuff good stuff you can get a picture you got six yeah. fish man oh really whatever happens with that okay they're all alive yep. you got to take the smallest one or take okay. one out okay then you get a two pound penalty that's fine okay that Chris martinez from Annapolis, with, Maryland, with five, just on the corner side, five in the back for Lewis. I'm going to go ahead and say two pounds less than what they say. Okay. That way everybody will know what's going on. Okay. They won't know what's going on, but they'll know what weight you end up right. with. Right. <laughs> He's got five coming in at 10 pound and 11 ounces. <laughs> go back to school and learn how to count, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe that. Look <laughs> at that. Like... Wow, what a bonehead mistake. What an idiot. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did that. Not only that, I mean, it's like I'm pulling them out of the bag here. I should have at least been counting. <laughs> I, mean, I really, I really can't, can't tell you how I got uh, a six fish in there. But you know what, it's happened to pros. It's, uh, you know, plenty of guys have made casts with six fish in. It just, you know, the guys up there, they're good about it. They just, you know, weighed me in anyway, gave me the penalty and all. Um, that's just hilarious. Hey, what are you going to do, guys? I mean, you're good. You can, you know, I put all of my mistakes out there. And people take me to uh, the max with, with the punishment and the comments and everything. And I don't care. And you know what? I give it right back to people. So, you know what, yes, I've made mistakes. I'm human, all right? I'm gonna keep on living, keep on living the dream, having fun, keep on fishing. So. You know what I did? Best day did you ever. see? Did you see what I did? No. I had six fish. Oh, <laughs> no! I can't believe that, man, that's crazy. I, I did it though, I've done that. I did really? it about four years ago at Oneida. Uh -huh. a 12 incher in the bottom of the live well. Yeah. Oh. I didn't. I wasn't even counting when I was yeah. taking them out or anything. I was just grabbing and throwing, and 
I remember I asked you, I said, did you call? You said you called, Phil. I don't know, though, maybe, but I think he caught so many fish today. It was awesome. I think I think honestly when I was trying to fizz one or coal when I was calling one that's oh, the only yeah, thing yeah, I think yeah. I think I tossed that one in there and but I still grabbed one and tossed it out I, Team town. yeah yeah nice you hear me giving kudos up there the best co-angler ever oh uh, what yeah check the video out yeah it's like Lewis is the greatest co-angler ever teamwork blah, blah, blah. no way yeah, man I hooked you up yeah, <laughs> yeah, famous, famous in the video yeah Good. hey I didn't Man, Dave's over there telling me I was getting like, uh, or because I got a two pound penalty. So I, he's like, yeah, you got six fish. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like laughing at everything because I'm like, I can't believe I did that. Uh, I mean, and again, it's not like it's going to ruin my life or anything. Well, what would they do? They just like penalize you a fish or something? They gave me two pound penalty. No. That's, that's rough. I mean, four dead fish is only one pound. Yeah, that was true. a two pound. Yeah. I had 12 pounds. Yeah, it does. It does. Like I said, I ain't going to lose it. We had a we had a great time. I we appreciate it, man. Give me absolutely. Yeah.